Hello and welcome, you are gaming with me, Mrothgar, and this is Medieval Engineers. And you might be wondering, what in the world is going on? Well, I tell you what, I have cracked the game, baby. I have almost hacked it to a point and unlocked this developer screen. Now, every time I press this button, I'm going to get another screenshot, but hey, it's pretty cool. Now, what I did to unlock this menu, which I don't know if it's that much of a secret, but I'm going to roll with it as it is a secret, is basically smash every keyboard on the right side of my keyboard, holding Control, Alt, and Shift. And if I can actually find out the real key combination, I'm going to put it in the video right here. Here we go. Here we go. Contr uh, left, le less than and greater than held at the same time. No. Control, less than. Control shift greater than. Control shift less than and greater than. Control alt less than. Control alt greater than. There's like a lot of combinations I could be wrong here. Alt shift less than. Alt shift greater than. Control alt shift less than. Control alt shift greater than. Control alt shift less than and greater than. Menu. There it is. That's it. Control alt shift less than and greater than. You need to press all five of those keys in order to unlock this. Ha 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 ha. Now, it's definitely worth mentioning that not every keyboard out there can press more than three keys at the same time. Standard keyboards happen to operate this way, but if you have a gaming keyboard, you can press many keys at the same time and not have a problem. So, depending on your hardware, you may not be able to unlock this menu. All right, so here it is. This is the developer screen, and you can do the debug mode or draw physics, which actually is not a... It's not a... You can just press Alt and Shift and F12 to get that thing to show up. Apparently, that's for, like, developers and stuff. But hey, let's see if I can run around like this. This is one of those things where, where I've unlocked this ability to, I don't know, like, do a pose, right? I'm, I'm, I'm pre-falling at the moment, and hopefully I can hopefully I can get myself out of it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What is it? What am I doing? Am I waving at myself now? It's like I'm falling, but I'm, I'm just grabbing something in the air at the same time. <laughs> what? What? All right, let's try to throw a little crouch in there too. What am I doing with my right hand though? It's just like <laughs> maybe he's getting really pissed at me. I don't know. He's like, oh, stop messing with my menus. All I want to do is move. All I do actually want to do is move. Can I move? Aha! I'm free. There is no putting down your hand. Okay, my hand is permanently stuck up in the air. That's what it's going to be. <laughs> I'm not saying this is the best thing you should mess with. And uh, it might make your game slightly unstable. But hey, look at all this fun stuff you have here. If you go to the game, you can do all this different things like character properties. And not all of this stuff I've noticed actually work. But uh, you've noticed that the, the, the grass here is kind of freaking out. And that is because... <laughs> As, as I am running around, I was actually able to adjust the wind speed and angle of the grass, and it kind of makes for an interesting experience. I mean, I'll see if I can find that same menu there, but if I hold Alt here, I can actually just change some of these sliders, and again, not all of this stuff does stuff, hopefully. <laughs> if, it, if it does all show up, it'll all show up at once and probably destroy something. Crash test, I want to avoid that one. Environment, though, I could delete trees. Do you think I could actually delete trees? Well, let's see if I can actually delete trees. Why not? <laughs> and they're gone! <laughs> Take that, Mother Nature. I have I have become dominant with my right hand stuck up in the air. There you have it. That's it. No more trees around here. <laughs> can I undelete trees? Okay, no, apparently not. All right, well, <laughs> if, if my game saves and I end up with no trees, that's going to be why. At any rate, let's see here what else we have. Cube, placer, I can have a hammer. What? What? I don't know what all this stuff is. Some of this stuff, I have just no idea what's going on here. Structural integrity, though. Oh, now this is pretty cool. Um, I can actually delete fractures, which would actually be kind of useful if it does exactly what I think it would be, which is slightly damaged blocks, which would be a pretty cool tool if they could actually put it in there, because I would actually like... To delete damaged blocks rather than have to like sneak in there and kind of hopefully don't destroy my building while I'm doing this. At any rate, yeah, structural integrity. Apparently, I could turn it off here and not even worry about it. Let's go ahead and see if that actually works. If I, it's able, I'm able to turn it off. 
I should be able to know pretty soon. Uh, okay. Here we go. We're going to go way up high. Now, this should not be possible in my game that has structural integrity on. However, there it goes. <laughs> well, that's kind of cool. That's cool. I like that. Now, there might be a control for that one. I've seen some people apparently turning it on and off, but hey, there it is. It's right there, hidden behind some stuff. I can draw numbers somehow, apparently. Closest distance threshold? All right, so let's see if I can figure out the fracture thing. Let's see what happens. If it does delete fractures, then I should be able to delete this bottom block. Nope, I just cleaned up the environment. Why isn't this in the game? Like, non-hidden. Ah! I'll be honest. If there is a key to delete fractures, it would be awesome to know. You can leave that in the comment section below. Because that has been driving me nuts. I hate having all that debris around. All right, now here's a fun one. If you actually come down to system, you know, you got all this different stuff going on. However, what you can do is you can adjust the simulation speed. So let's, actually, let's crank it up to like maximum real quick here. And just show that off because that's kind of fun so here's an object that I just copied earlier and there it falls it falls really fast you even see it <laughs> oh that's pretty cool Whee! <laughs> all right uh, let's see what step physics does I don't know I don't know if it did anything I could pause physics and see what that. Boop. Okay, so we have apparently f paused physics, and then you can un <laughs> force GC. Hmm. Um, um, you just know that that's a button that's probably going to destroy something. No, apparently not. Okay, that's good. That's good. Let's slow this down real quick and just get this in slow motion. Yeah. Oh, that might be a little slow. Okay. Yeah. You can you can come down anytime, physics. Did I break the game with this one? Um, well, that's kind of cool. But that one's definitely stuck up in the air. Let's see if I can bump it and bring it down. Sometimes you need to do that. Yeah, there it is. You just had to bump it. Oh, yeah. And there's the save. No more trees for me. <laughs> All righty. Well, that's pretty cool. Let's see here. What else can I do while I'm hanging out here? Oh, uh, travel. I can travel to moons or something? What? What? Whoa! <laughs> uh, uh. Game? Game! Let's go to the moon! All right. Now, where actually am I? Huh. Bill <laughs> oh no, now I need to turn my simulation on so I can actually get down to the ground fast enough. <laughs> this is just something fun to play with. This is pretty cool. Of course, now I've destroyed all my trees, but hey, you know, whatever. It's a thing. It's a thing. It'll be part of my history. And who needs trees anyhow? All right, so let's go ahead and move on to some other stuff here. Just because there's more to this than just the game. The character itself, you can again do some animations there. There are some graphics that do work. And then there are some that simply don't really seem to do anything. So, I don't know. You can mess with it as much as you want. You can feel a lot of this is probably coming from the space engineer side of things. You can actually see some terminology like asteroids and whatnot showing up here. Now this one here I've noticed actually does work if you do outdoor rendering settings. And this is where you can change that wind strength. So that's like maximum I should be flying away. but Or you can make it a nice calm day. 
There you go, yes. Scaling factor, I don't really know what all that's about. Scaling distance, well, that kind of makes some sense, right? I could basically turn it off if I crank it all the way down. No more grass. No more grass. Okay, apparently I can't turn off the grass. But you can adjust how far the detailed textures go. Certain things like that. I don't know. It's fun, goofy stuff. And it's a, it's a hidden menu for different things that you would ne normally not see. <laughs> like this. This is crazy. Once you get down here, your metalness and normals. I mean, look at this game. Woo! Now, this is fun. Why not play the game like this? It would be nicer if my trees were still around. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's kind of cool. It's some fun stuff to kind of mess with. Again, I'd be a little bit careful on what you're messing with, but hey, whatever. It's life. I would like to turn the god rays on, but apparently that doesn't work, so that's kind of disappointing. Man, you can do all kinds of stuff. Make your game look like poop if you really wanted to, I guess. There you go. Beautiful, looking amazing now. Actually, it kind of looks like Daisy. I don't know why. Well, if you roll over to Medieval, there's a couple things like rope and torch and debug input if you really wanted to. All in all, this is the little developer screen, and as you can see, it's an interesting thing. I don't really know if it's at all worth messing with, but hey, I found it. I figured I'd with I figured I'd share it with you just to kind of, you know, share the news and know that there are a couple things in there that would actually be useful like being able to the to, to delete those extra blocks and different things like that I don't know being able to turn on and off structural integrity if that's not already part of the game is just a piece of control that I don't understand yet but all in all I think it's a pretty cool little menu and there's some opportunities in there I'd avoid the one where you delete all the trees because now my land looks like poop <laughs> At any rate, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you found this somewhat enjoyable, maybe a little bit informative. If nothing else, it's kind of interesting. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Peace. Brothgar, out.